back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell button because then you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to hit the like button down below and leave a comment because all of those things do help my channel and I appreciate all the love and support and I really do love reading all the comments and working through replying to the comments. When I get really busy, I get really bad about that, but I'm trying and I promise to keep trying to reply to comments. I'm a few videos behind, so um, I work I will work on getting there. Today for you I have a Dollar Tree haul, but it is another themed Dollar Tree haul. I have three more Easter baskets that I have put together by theme to share with you. Um, if you're new here and you haven't seen, I have several other videos um, over the course of the last couple weeks, maybe a few weeks now, where I am donating 25 Easter baskets to a local organization called the Denver Rescue Mission. And um, I have partnered with a company. Luckily, financially, they are covering the cost of all the items. I'm just doing the shopping and putting them together for the company. So we've partnered together where she is funding it. I am putting them together. So um, I have been having so much fun doing it. I'm doing it for a wide variety of ages from toddlers to teens of all genders. Um, some, I mean, not everything's gender specific because anybody could love anything, but you know, there's some like in my mind are geared more towards boys or girls knowing that there could be a little girl that loves this particular type of toy or a little boy that loves this too. So, but you know, you know, and so I'm trying to cover all bases of who these Easter baskets could potentially be going to. Um, and I've been having so much fun doing it. So today for you, I have three different baskets, themes, and a few things that I picked up for some that I've already hauled because I keep doing that. I find more that I think will go really well in them. And some of the candy that I picked up because I do try to do some Easter candy in each of the baskets too because they're Easter baskets. So let's get started. This was an idea from one of my subbies. Um, I asked for some ideas in the comments and someone said, why don't you do Final Faction? And I thought to myself, why don't I do Final Faction? Like what a great idea because it is a huge series of toys that the Dollar Tree puts out. There are so many to choose from. I had no idea. So I have picked up a bunch. I feel like this basket, I mean, that goes down. So like it's full like I think I try to pick up enough bad guys and good guys and accessories so let's look through this one first the bin this is one of the dry erase locker bins from the Dollar Tree I thought this would be a good one it just seems like the right color scheme and then once whatever kiddo gets this they can open up all their little toys and they can store them in this bin so um, I just thought that that would be great. These all say three and up for their like age range. And so since the toy says that, that might be what I put on the tag. But my, my brain was not on like toddler boys for this, more for like little boys, like, you know, school age boys um, is my thought process behind this particular one. Um, if you are new to Final Faction, which I am, um, this will be interesting to you as well to kind of see all the different characters. First of all, they did put out a... a um, comic book this is new I got one for Braxton it's been a while now he because he got one for one of his little gifts and he enjoyed it he asked me to watch out for issue number two because it's just like a comic book and he likes the comic books so um I'm keeping an eye out for number two it hasn't come out yet so far it's just number one I do just noticed it says deep in the rainforests of Costa Rica and if you've been here for a while you know I went to Costa Rica last summer so just thought that was neat there is a travel advisory for Costa Rica right now though because of crime um so I picked up the comic book uh, I, I keep I love trying to get books put into like you know the Easter baskets so these come with bad guys and good guys and from what I have figured out just by picking stuff up the con con I'm gonna say that's k-h-a-a-n cons are the bad guys I mean he looks like a bad guy so he looks like he's the guy who is right here on this here comic book and he looks like the bad guy and on the back so I picked him up he just looks like a bad guy Diablo Diablo, General Diablo, Diablo is his name. You know, he looks creepy. We got this one is the Biochemical Crawler, the Poisonous Edition. Um, so this is Limited Edition Venom. It tells you, I didn't even look at the back. And this is Series 2. 
So they tell you more about each of them on the back. So this says Series 2. This says the Venom collection. I was just trying to get different bad guys and different good guys. So, and the ones that looked. Like, I thought he looked kind of neat, even though he's poisonous. Like a double spider thing. So, grabbed that one. Then they have, like, these shop shock arms weapons pack and it goes with the bad guys i have no idea i don't know which ones but it tells you a whole story in the year 2050 a large asteroid collided with our moon among the debris we discovered hi hibernating alien mothership now the karn 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 that's what it says are awake and they want to plunder our precious natural resources so we recruited teams of special operatives to defend the Earth from the alien threat. They are Final Faction. And scan to watch the Final Faction cartoon with the little QR code. So apparently there's a cartoon too. So got the weapons. Now we got the story behind it. it says it on all of them. I didn't even pay any attention. So Karn. So there's another alien Karn guy. He's real creepy looking. He must be part of the Venom one. That must be the green ones. Must be Venom. We have some more here of these weapon things. Quake Arms weapons pack. I don't. I don't know. Um, Karn. So we have Evolution. Synthoid Evolution. What we little weapons pack thingy? I probably got things that don't go together because I don't know what it all means. Here's another bad guy. I think I got more bad guys than good guys. I should pay attention to that, huh? How are the good guys going to defeat the bad guys? He's a drone. Hive class drone. He's from series one. I don't, I don't know. And let's see. That's a good guy, good guy. The rest might be the good guys. Yeah, but I don't think I have enough good guys now. Uh-oh. We're gonna, I'll probably pick up like a couple more good guys. So we have some good guys. Let's see, one, two, three. Oh yeah, they're way outnumbered. Oopsies. So we got these good guys. We got Sergeant Steel, and he's got some blade things. He's from series one. We got MSGT, Master Sergeant Steadfast. From the Alpha team. He's also from Series 1. We got Underwater Specialist Riptide. He's from Series 2. Yeah, I guess it looks aquatic y, huh? He goes underwater. And then I got them some of their weapon packs. So this is the Ruck Assault things, Shift Blades and p131 thunderbolt no idea no idea and then this cute little x4 turret turret you know i guess he's not i guess if he was a little robot he'd be cute but maybe he's just a god i don't know um so i got those i will probably buy one or two more good guys so that there's so there's an even amount uh, but they did also have vehicles and so this one is the Alpha Team 1 Arrow ATV. And it comes then also with the weapons and armor upgrade for it. So I got the two of those so it could be upgraded. And then this one is for the bad guys, the Karn. And it's a Rumbler. Then it comes then also with the weapons and armor pack to go on that. It has an exoskeleton, earth core meter, anti-infantry lasers. And then on this you get the scorpion whip, thrasher claw, or two fat thrasher claws. Yeah, so that's, that's that. That's that. This is not what I'm into. These are not my jam. Luckily, it's not really my kid's jam. It's not my jam. But I can see where a kid would like it. So, so yeah. And it's, I mean, a great themed basket. There's so much of it. So, there, there is so much of it. So I'm going to pay attention to what good guys I already picked up. I'm actually going to sit back inside. I'll probably take a picture. I forget. Every time I'm at the store and I'm looking and I'm like, shoot. 
I cannot remember what I grabbed because it all starts blending and looking the same when you're doing 25 baskets. Sorry, I'm just trying to throw out all the baskets so that that way I have room to show you the other two. Um, great set though. Like, I mean, where are you, else are you going to find like a whole gigantic set like this for $1.25 each piece? You're not. Not even Walmart. Not even Walmart branded stuff. You're just, you're just not. So it just creates a gigantic set of toys. So I'm going to put that one together. It does not feel very Eastery to me. That's why I struggle with that one. It just doesn't feel very Eastery, but someone's going to like it. I'm sure. So we got that one. Next for the artist, I picked up all this stuff. It is like a little crafty, artsy kind of set. Really more geared for a girl because there's like jewelry making and stuff in here and just the color scheme of everything just just kind of is. Um, but I did pick up a bunch. So this one is a Charm Fun bracelet maker. Um, it's a shareable, wearable for besties. So includes one set. But what does one set make? It includes 20 pieces. I assume it makes one bracelet and it makes like a little um, locket or like picture charm bracelet where you can put a picture in it. 10 round beads, 10 purple beads, two metallic silver colored charms. So I assume it makes one photo charm bracelet. We have this other bracelet making one. It says surprise saying bracelet activity. Which one will you get? Which is so cute. So you get six different options of what you potentially will get in here in different colors. So purple is believe, blue is dream big, pink is love, kind of the orangey one is be kind. There's kind of a rainbowy, all the different colors. Say so be happy and a green one that says grateful. So super cute there. And you get 80 beads and one elastic, it says. This is cute. It's just like a little pop art set. So it includes two canvases, five paints, and one paintbrush. But the only picture it shows is this dog. So I don't know what is on each of the canvases. It's taped shut, so I don't want to. I think. Yeah, it's taped shut. Um, so I don't want to like mess with it because I want it to be brand new for a gift. But that's a neat little set for someone who enjoys painting. Um, this cute little dough set. These are new to me. There's several different ones. There was a birthday cake one and this one. And I, I don't remember the other two. But um, it is a creative cupcake dough set. And so you get two molds, a tool, and th a three pack of dough um, to make fabulous cupcakes out of the dough so it looks like there's um like the toppings and looks like like a press where you can put in the look for the um what that stuff is called frosting the fake frosting and sprinkles so i thought that looked really cute for someone another bracelet making set this one is the braided loom kit it comes with seven colors of string one foam loom and instructions so you use the loom to like create the the bracelet because I mean I don't know how to make that on my own. Um, I just did a tie knot one back in my day and it just kind of twisted around with like one little knot because you just had to do like you know the pattern over and over. Um, my kids love these and so to find them at Dollar Tree I thought was really cool. They're the scratch art. Lorelai especially loves these. So it's like a black sheet but you scratch on it and it um, shows the rainbow colors. And you can draw anything on them. And this should come with, yeah, one wood stick and 50 sheets. So, um, like I said, Lorelai loves those. So I just thought that they would be fun to put in an art, like a crafty art basket. I have all these in the past because I gifted all these to Lorelai for Christmas. It is a little macrame feather set. And so you get instructions and the pink string to be able to make a macrame feather or leaf feather feather um it says that there are no tools needed just knotting so that's why the instructions are important this one is a diy macrame cactus same thing no tools just knotting and you get the two colors the white and the green with that one and then the diy macrame rainbow 
no tools just knotting and you get four colors in this one so you get the white orange purple and pink super cute so this would be good like if you're going on a road trip and you don't want to bring too much like you could just do that not the driver but anyone in the car um i did haul this because i gifted this to lorelei for her valentine's day gift i got her two of them actually because i liked this confetti fun one it was my favorite but i had already picked her up a different one i think the rainbow no candy craze um but i like the little rubber bands on this so it's the loom and you get a handful of the little rubber bands to be able to do the mini loom bracelet maker so whoever gets this is going to have a whole lot of bracelets this i thought was neat it is just a creative kids cross stitch fun so it has the pattern it's got the cross stitch like plastic piece and all the yarn and I assume there is a needle yep a little plastic needle in here as well to be able to make the little cupcake so they just have to follow that pattern and cross stitch it how cute is that then Lorelai loves these too I really I mean I know what Lorelai likes and she's a big crafter like into this stuff and so I picked up everything I knew she liked um, she likes diamond art a lot, and so this is cute. It comes with two little keychains, the little cat mermaid and unicorn, three different colors of beads, and the little tool to put them on there with wax, a wax square. So I got that to be able to make some keychains, as well as this one is um, kind of not quite the same, but sparkle by number. Um, one kit just peel and stick so these ones are peel and stick little like beads or gemstones to make a little unicorn and then lastly is another paint one it's cute got the cute little easel with some paints and a cute little spring little spring setup so that was what I picked up for kind of the artsy um, crafty one I don't know if I'm fully done I've been just picking up as I see the cute little crafty things that seem like they're gonna make sense in here and um, so far this is what I have found I probably just bumped you I'm sorry and I picked this basket up I thought this would be a neat little basket to put this in so grabbed this as well sorry putting it all back in I just don't want them to all get mixed up and all over the place because then it just goes back over in my front room until I build the baskets so that's coming I'm probably doing an extra haul for you guys this week I said that last video because I need to get through everything but I also have a few I'm shopping for still so it's kind of that balance of finding the rest of the stuff but also getting through the haul so I can build the baskets we're running out of time it's coming closer and closer to when they're due so lastly for today's baskets I did this one so this one started off I was gonna do a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle basket but then I was struggling finding enough Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff so what I decided to turn it into was kind of Nickelodeon themed, but really it's Spongebob and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all in one. And I just thought like the kids that like like that type of toy, like they just blend well together. So this is for more like school age kiddos. I mean, maybe a preteen likes this stuff. Um, all my, my kids, like, like my kids age group fits this really well. So a bunch of school age kids and they are currently 8 through 12 and I feel like you know 6 through 12 would probably be fine with this um, I'll look at the age recommendations on everything that's in here and kind of go by that when I do a recommendation on it but so let's show you everything that I found that were Spongebob and Ninja Turtle themed I will tell you I just went to five below I haven't done that haul yet and I found stuff to add to it because I thought I was struggling finding stuff for this one but then once I kind of compiled it all together I was like oh wait I actually have quite a bit but I do have four more things that I picked up at five five four or five more things that I picked up at five below so once you see that haul you'll see more and I got some something for the art one too from five below as well as some of the other ones I've already hauled so once I do that five below haul stick around for that when you see it pop up because I've been buying additions for all my different baskets all right so what inspired this one were these and unfortunately I've only been able to find the two I haven't been able to find the red or orange but I bought them and I didn't know who I was going to give them to. I was going to donate them. I may or may not add them to this basket if I don't find them in time to add them. The Michelangelo and Raphael. Those are my two favorite too. Um, our Michelangelo. Raphael was always my favorite favorite though. 
um, and I can't find them again and I've been to a lot of stores so I'm gonna start with these two they might only get these two they might I might find the two that I have in my stash that are gonna be donated anyway and I might just add them to the basket so this is what started this here basket because I was like what am I gonna do with those Legos I want to do that that's fun because then I also at the same time found a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set of deck a deck of cards and so it's really just a deck of cards but it's um, Ninja Turtle themed. This does say Greenbrier on the back of it, so that's cool. So then I was like, you know what? They must be bringing in Ninja Turtle stuff, so I should be fine to put this basket together. That's where I got stuck. And then I have found a few more things since then, but that's where I got stuck. So then I was like, all right, let's add SpongeBob because they have these little doodads in the toy section. Um, they also have Ren and Stimpy which I do not like Ren and Stimpy. I think they are disgusting. I am not a fan. I am not putting them in there even though they're Nickelodeon. Although it would still fit, right? Um, and then they have Arnold Shortman, which I don't remember. Hey Arnold, I think was the show. I never, I don't know. But so I got the SpongeBob and Patrick to put in there. They're say Nickelodeon. I mean, if I find Ren and Stimpy, maybe I'll put them in there. It's not my kids. I won't let my kids I don't like my kids to watch Spongebob let's be honest but um I would not let them watch Ren and Stimpy I watch it a little bit as a kid no um so I got those that's what started the Spongebob side and then I found both of these in the toy section and they have like a whole case of these doughs and they also have blues clues in it I can't remember what else came in the doughs. They have different Nickelodeon characters. Blue's Clues, Paw Patrol is kind of around. I probably could have put together a Paw Patrol one. I might be needing to do another basket because I started um, Minions and I, I'm just stuck. I can't find enough Minion stuff. So that just might go to like just donate and I might start over and Paw Patrol might be where I start over because I was thinking I could find the little Minions guys and they're just nowhere to be found right now. Like the little... Um, little round guys and they're just nowhere. Anywho, back to this basket. So this one is the red dough with Raphael. It says it's kitty dough and it has a figure stamper in it. I assume the lid is a stamper on the other side. Um, and so they have that one and SpongeBob, which also has a figure stamper. And so I thought those would be really cute in there. And then I found, I thought this was fun, Nickelodeon Slime. Like, do you remember Slime? Like the whole Slime, like the game show and all the things. They had it in multiple colors, but I went for the classic green to put in there. Because um, I just went really well with this whole Nickelodeon themed. Um, this is by Crazy Art. So it's name brand. Um, but I think it's distributed by Greenbrier. Yeah. Um, but I thought that I would add that in there. They also had like purple pink maybe and I don't remember the other color but I got green because I just felt like it was like classic like the slime that they used to have back in the day um I did find this book as well to add to the Ninja Turtle side of things um it's the only one I found I almost picked it up again but then I was like no I think that's the one I already found so I'm hopeful maybe I can find another book but I might not um Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles follow the leader no idea but just a little picture book. It's got a decent amount of words in it. That's why it's like, you know, school age, younger school age kid themed because it's, this is not a toddler book by any means. Um, it doesn't have an age really easy to see on it though. But so far, I think everything might say like 30 and up. And I don't know how they distribute the baskets because I'm not part of that. And so hopefully these say five and up. So I think this would be a good basis because they're little pieces. So I'll probably say five and up for my basket. Something else in here might say six. Um, so SpongeBob stuff, I did find quite a bit. So this one is a little grab-a-go bag. It has three markers, one sticker sheet, and a 24-page coloring book in it. And so these little grab bags are always cute to add to a theme. I mean, look, it's so SpongeBob. It like really puts it out there. And then here's another one slightly different but color and activity book this one comes with one coloring book three markers and two sticker sheets hopefully they're not exactly the same hopefully they're a little bit different uh, but if they're exactly the same if someone has a sibling or something they can share but um so hopefully they're a little bit different 
Then this one I thought was cute. This one says three and up too. So this one has um it's my dress up book so it's like a little sticker dress up book so it has like pages on it but then it has like stickers in it to like add so like i guess you draw an outfit oh this is draw an outfit i don't know where the stickers go oh it's sticker book so they have like you know the little outlines where you put all the stickers um from over here so it's just a little sticker book i thought that was cute and it was spongebob and this will stick out of the top which i think will be cute we found another SpongeBob SquarePants Underwater Wonder Book. And so it's got like a word search, fun facts, um, like little just fun activities. It's a fun activity book, it says. So not quite a coloring book, but you know, all kinds of fun stuff. I should get a pen or something to put in here. I didn't put a pen at this point, but I did, um, markers maybe. I did find Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pencils. There were SpongeBob pencils. I didn't grab them because I thought like the six pencils for the Ninja Turtles was enough. So grabbed those. A Ninja Turtle puzzle. So this one's the 48 piece. Six and up is the age range on this. So that's probably what I'll put on my like suggested age. It's like five or six and up um, for everything. Um, they have these. Uh, this was a great find. I had been looking for it and there was only one at one of the stores I went to. So I was glad I found it. They're just like the wall stickers. Um, wall decals you get 14 of them and I just thought that that was perfect and cute I also found by accident this it's like a dry erase board it says wipe clean activity board so on this side it has like kind of a story thing you can't see it great because the tag is in the way but it says use your own dry erase marker or crowns wipe clean with a soft cloth this is like the turtles are cruising the city streets in the shell razor, then trouble strikes. Shredder has unleashed his thug. And then you fill it in on the city. They are attacking blank and tearing up blank. Time for a turtle attack. The turtles arrive on the scene and then, and then like a whole blank where they can like fill out the story or they could just draw. So because of this, I did pick up some dry erase markers to go with it because it just makes sense and then um this i mean this is just a regular toy that they have in the dollar and the kid section but it just seemed like it fit with ninja turtles i don't i mean they have like their their own little it just seemed like it fit so i tossed that in there it's got kind of that turtle shell look to it i just thought that would be fun in there and then um some candies i found the bag of Krabby Patties. My kids love Krabby Patty candies. I think they look disgusting, but I've never tried them. And then some magic pizza gummies because pizza goes with Ninja Turtles. Um, so that's what I got for that one. Again, I did find a few more things though from uh, Five Below that will be added into this. Now real quick before I go, because we are we're running late on time. A few more things that I found for the, the baskets that I've already hauled. Peeps. I found more peep stuff. I keep finding more peep stuff. Look at this. It's a peeps cello bag. So I bought all the clear bags that I'm going to put the baskets in, but the peeps one's going to go in a peeps bag because hello, how cute is that? So it's just like a little basket, our little bag covered in peeps. I thought that was adorable. It looks like it comes with a tag too. One cello bag, one twist tie, one gift card. How cute. Then I found some Peeps nails, press on nails. The Peeps basket I said that could be for anybody. I mean, I'm going to toss them in there because it's Peeps and it's not candy because there's a lot of candy in that basket, but anybody could get a Peeps basket, anybody of any age, and they could give that to somebody else. For the Barbie basket, I thought it would be nice. I know this isn't Barbie themed, but I really like, you know, this little carrying case. I've actually bought a couple. I use them for traveling, but um, I thought this would be cute to toss in there. Um, for the Barbie one and then this was a new um, awesome coloring book it's the Barbie jumbo color and activity books with bonus bookmarks on the back um, I've just been going through the books a lot trying to find books that match my themes and I thought this one would be great for the Barbie one for the Sesame Street one this is Easter themed so I thought it was adorable I already have a lot of books in that one but since this was Easter themed I had to do it so it's another jumbo coloring and activity book for Sesame Street so I'm going to toss that in there 
And then I did say I was looking for this because I found the Avengers kind of comic book and I wanted to find the Spider-Man too for my superhero basket. And so I already had this one. I wanted to find this one and I did. So I'm going to put that in with the superhero basket. Real fast now before I leave, I did pick up some candies that are going to go like in the baskets or in the Easter eggs. So I will show those real quick. One, I found the egg Tootsie Rolls. So I'm finding candies that are individually wrapped. I don't want anything to be loose, even though I'm putting them in Easter eggs. I want them all to be wrapped because I just feel like that's, as a parent, what I would want. And so these are the Tootsie Roll eggs. It says they are candy coated egg shaped Tootsie Rolls, individually wrapped, great for egg stuffing. So these are gonna go in the eggs that are going into the baskets. So I wanted something not chocolate, and these, I've always mentioned, are one of the favorites here in my house. They're the fruity Tootsie Rolls, except for that damn vanilla. Vanilla is not fruity. They should do a mix of chocolate and vanilla. That would make sense. Call it swirl, but it's not fruity, and they take over the bags. I like all the other fruity flavors. I couldn't even tell you my favorite. Lime, I really like lime, but I really like orange, and I really like cherry. Lemon's okay, but that vanilla does not belong. So I grabbed these. I thought they're fun colors, like Eastery, fruity, not um, chocolate. So I wanted to put that in some of the eggs. But then another chocolate one because that's what they do. They're li the little chocolate eggs. These ones are just milk chocolate flavored, rich chocolatey candy. But then I also picked up the cookies and cream ones as well. And so those will go in each of the baskets. And then I did um, Easter bunnies. So I got five of these. I'm doing 25 baskets. So I want to do some sort of something in all of them. So I did get five of these guys because I found the other ones first. But these are a half a pound of just milk chocolate. They had different color tops. So we have green, blue, and purple. But they're all the same candies. So, I mean, that doesn't really matter. But um, these are like nice big bunny candies and they're slim so I thought they'd fit nicely in the basket and then I also picked up these ones so these are double crisp double crisp chocolate bunnies so they're a little bit smaller not quite as big but also I liked the size of them so I thought they'd fit nicely in the baskets and they're cute and I got 10 of these so I got five of the other ones 10 of these so that's 15 of my baskets and you'll see later on I picked up peeps I do peeps in some of them too. So it's either peeps or chocolate bunnies as the candy option. So that's everything for this particular haul for my Easter baskets. Um, keep watching, I have more coming. Like I said, I plan to do two more this week to get through all of my Easter baskets um, of hauling them so then I can record myself putting them together. Um, I'm, I'm finishing up buying all the bits and pieces I need to put them together. I still need some more baskets um, and then figure out which stuff fits in the best basket type of thing but yep we're almost there we're almost there to putting them together finally um so i'll see you again today is thursday i'll see you on saturday with another basket haul and then probably sunday i'll do an extra one and then i'll be back tuesday and i mean the next two weeks i'll probably have an extra one because i just have too many baskets to get through and I'm finishing up shopping for them. So um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful week. I can't wait until I see you next time. And I'll see you later, guys. Bye.